Let us solve one problem which came in the previous GET exams on this BFS algorithm, breadth first search algorithm. And this problem is here like this. The BFS algorithm has been implemented using the Q data structure. My humble request to you all, please watch the uh, those videos where we have discussed this BFS algorithm and one video was there where we trace that algorithm with one example. So for the better understanding, please watch those videos. So there also we use the Q data structure, you know that, that in case of Q it is nothing but first in first out or last in last out data structure. One possible order of visiting the nodes of the following graph is, so the graph has been given and we are supposed to, so these are the four options we are having that if we apply the BFS algorithm, you know the BFS algorithm means it will traverse through the graph. So the order in which all these six nodes will be traversed, so four options are given, we shall have to tell that which option is the correct for us. We know that a BFS algorithm will require the graph to be fed there and the graph should have some representation in the computer's memory, not in the form of such images. So there this BFS algorithm will be taking this graph as in the form of adjacency matrix or adjacency list. In case of adjacency matrix, we know that one that we will be having all the columns that means number of columns will be number of uh, equal to the number of vertices and number of rows will be equal to the number of vertices and in the matrix it will be containing 0 or 1 if the respective rth row and cth column are adjacent, I shall be putting there 1. If they are not adjacent, they are not having any direct edge in between, I shall be putting there 0. So, in our adjacency matrix at least we had our, uh, we are having our separate videos where you have discussed this one in details. So, whenever against a certain node, when you shall find out its adjacent node list, in the case I shall be taking them in the alphabetical order. Why? Because in the adjacency matrix, the columns will be in the adjust in the alphabetical order and rows will be in the alphabetical order. And obviously, for this uh, this six nodes, the alphabetical order will be M, then N, O, P, and then Q1. Obviously, this is the alphabetical order in which I shall be finding out the adjacent nodes. Okay. Now let me start with the solution. First, they are starting with this M. So, M will be put in the queue and from queue M will be taken out. So, M has been taken out. So, adjacent for M will be R, Q and N. So, in the queue they will be pushed or they will be inserted in the alphabetical order. They will be inserted in the queue in the alphabetical order. So, we are having this R, Q and N. So, N will be there, Q will be there and then R. And you know that Q is a data structure which is fast in, fast out. That means next time N will come out. So, N is matching with this. So, M is matching, N is matching. So, N, N, N will be coming out there, here. Then Q will be coming out. So, but it is not matching. So, this sequence is not correct. I did not do, need not to proceed further. I need not to go till end. From here, I can infer that next traversed uh, node will be Q but that is O and Q is there afterwards. So, that sequence is incorrect. Now, let me go for the next one. The next one, I am going for the next one. The next one is starting with this N. Okay. So, N will be put in the Q and then N will be taken out as the first element from the Q and now all the adjacent nodes to N will be put, will be inserted in the Q. So, N, N has got 1, 2, 3, 3 uh, adjacent nodes. So, M will be inserted, then M, O and Q, then uh, Q will be coming at first. So, Q will be inserted, then M will be inserted and then O will be inserted. I am writing them in the alphabetical order. Okay, I am writing them in the alphabetical order. So, N will be the node traversed. So, I am considering this one now. So, next node will be M that will be put in the Q and then O will be put in the Q and then Q will be put or inserted in the Q. So, now M will come out at first. So, it is not matching. So, this sequence is incorrect. 
it is not matching so need not to go further next one i'm going for this okay i'm going for this so now q so q is adjust is having the adjacent that is m n and p so m n and p will be inserted in the q now m will come out and you see m and p they are there so i think it might be the answer let me check so m will come out so m has m will be de deleted from the q so m has come out so now any any kind of adjacent nodes to m yes we are having r we are having r so r will be inserted then n will come out then n will come out any adjacent node to n which has not been pushed here yes that is o so then p will come out then r will come out then o will come out so q m n p r o q m n p r o so that is the answer for the cross check you can go for the fourth option also so q will be inserted and q will be deleted what are the adjacent nodes for q we are having this m n and then p so i am writing them in the alphabetical order m n and p okay now m will come out after q m will be there then n will be there then p will be there so now they are in the sequence let me check what okay m so when m is come m is coming out that means m will be deleted from the queue then new adjacent nodes which have not been traversed yet will be pushed or will be inserted at the rear end of the queue so now m is having this one so r will be will be inserted and now see it is not matching with r n will come out p will come out then r will come out but they are telling o will, o will come before r so that is wrong so i shall be going for the option number 3 so in this way you just go for the partial tracing and get the answer if you are in the right track go till end but if you are in the wrong track then that means that is not an answer answer so need not to go for the last so in this way such problems can be solved i think you are getting this logic thanks for watching this video